Hey, my name is Alec. In this video, we're going to talk about JavaScript. If you're wondering whether or not JavaScript is a good programming language to learn in 2022, well, in this video, we're going to talk about it. So when it comes to choosing programming languages, a lot of people make the mistake of choosing programming languages for the wrong reason. And what happens is that they end up oftentimes learning the wrong programming languages. For example, if you are looking for a programming language to get jobs that pay very well, you might end up learning a programming language that yes, maybe there's a lot of jobs available, but maybe they're not as well paid as you're looking for. So you have to be very specific in what you're looking for before you can choose your programming language. And in this instance, if what you're looking for is security, if what you're looking for is a programming language that gives you a lot of chance to get a job, maybe not the best jobs available, but actually a lot of chances to actually get hired, get a job, even though maybe you don't have a degree, JavaScript is one of the best options out there. And the reason for it is that JavaScript right now is probably the most in-demand programming language of all the programming languages. And in web development, that is both true if you want to be a front-end developer and do a lot of JavaScript doing DOM manipulation, or if you want to do back-end using Node.js and other tools. If you're not sure whether or not you want to do back-end or front-end, JavaScript may also be a good uh, option for you because it allows you to do both. So you could just learn JavaScript, try a bit of front-end, a bit of back-end, and decide after that which one you prefer and you will have learned a language that is very in demand and that gives you a very good opportunity of getting a job a very good chance of getting hired however if you want to do freelancing and you want the opinion of a freelancer and i can give you that opinion because i've been doing freelance web development for like four years i have learned javascript and i've almost never used it and the reason for it is that most of the clients you get as freelancers are actually small businesses who need very small, simple coding projects, simple websites. And most of these websites don't use a lot of JavaScript. The best skills that you should learn if you want to have your own clients and you want to have uh, the biggest pool of clients possible is actually not JavaScript. It's to focus on HTML CSS, maybe learn the basics of JavaScript, but not focus on it and then go learn WordPress and perhaps PHP. Because you see most of the websites on the internet, 70% of the websites on the internet run on PHP. The most used CMS is WordPress, which also runs on PHP. And a lot of the clients you could get as a freelancer are actually people who already have websites and need to get these websites updated. And so you will be working not from scratch, but a lot of times on existing pieces of code. And since most of these pieces of code are actually built out of WordPress, well, if you wanna be able to work with as many of the clients as possible, you will wanna focus on WordPress and PHP. And although it's very simple to find JavaScript jobs, they're everywhere. Uh, in my opinion, if you wanna make a lot of money as a web developer, that's not what you should do. As a freelance web developer who almost never uses JavaScript, I end up charging 85 dollars an hour to my clients and in my experience there's a lot more money to be made freelancing than actually getting a javascript job so my advice for you is if you want to learn javascript go fucking do it uh, it's very cool language you can do a lot of things with it okay it's very cool there's a lot of jobs available but if you want to make as much money as possible as a web developer my advice is instead go learn the basics of wordpress and then go learn the skills that you need in order to freelance because that's where the money is. And if you want to learn how to do that, how to freelance, how to find your own clients outside of Upwork, and it's not that difficult. I'm not doing some weird shit like cold calling people, calling people I don't know, bothering them. What I do is I specifically spot companies who have a need of a website and have a lot of money, and I actually contact them directly through emails. And if you're wondering, yes, people open their emails, especially business emails. And actually I had to send less than 10 emails to get my first clients. And if you want to see how to do that, how to make more money as a web developer by finding your own clients, being your own boss, I'm going to make videos about this in the next couple of weeks. So I recommend you subscribe, hit the notification bell and go watch these videos because I'm going to share with you the exact process that I use that allows me to find clients that are willing to pay me $85 an hour. With that said, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about JavaScript, about uh, web development, 
ask me in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care.